Hey, what's up everyone? Wanted to introduce you to a tool that I've been using recently to help automate repetitive tasks that I do on browsers. And to do that, I've used the iMacro tool. And if for the sake of this tutorial, it's gonna be the plugin for Chrome, but I know they have an Internet Explorer and a Firefox version as well. But for the sake of this tutorial, let's go ahead and use our Chrome browser or follow along with me through the Chrome browser and just repeat the steps through Internet Explorer or Firefox. And we're gonna go to the web store for plugins and we're gonna search for iMacros and we should end up at this page here, iMacros for Chrome with this icon. The blue button in the right in your case will say add to Chrome and you're gonna wanna go ahead and click that. It's gonna download the plugin and then create a little icon here in your plugin bar. Once we have this, we can get started in actually repeating tasks and to show you that in this video, I'm gonna to go to the back end of a WordPress site that I have that I don't maintain very regularly. And you can see that by the number of com comments that have piled up. And I can almost guarantee that almost all of these, if not all of them, are spam. So I just wanna go ahead and delete all 13,000. And to do that in its default setting in WordPress, we check this box and it will select all 20 spam comments on that page and we can go to bulk actions and move to trash those 20 items and hit apply and it will delete those 20 items from the 13,000 so as you can imagine that takes a long time if we're going to do that over and over again with the default setting an alternate to that is to use our iMacro tool and we do that by opening up or clicking the icon here on the right and we'll get this dialog box that looks like this and we can go to the record tab here in the middle and then hit record macro and when we do that we'll see two little lines of code pop up or maybe more in another browser um, but we can get go ahead and start doing the thing that we want repeated over and over again. So in this case, we want to check this box here and you'll see a little iMacro icon pop up real quick whenever it's recording something. And when I go to bulk actions and hit move to trash, you'll see another little icon pop up and did there over all and then apply. And you should see one more little flash of an icon. And once we've done that, we've deleted 20 items and that's the thing we want to happen over and over again. So we click back into our iMacros dialog box and hit stop. That then opens up the option to save and close or save as and close. And we're going to select that option. So we can name our macro delete spam. And when I hit OK, we'll see that macro drop into the box here. If I click delete spam and go to the play button at this point, when I hit play macro, if you look here, we have 12,937. When I hit play, it should bring this down to 12,917 if it's done it correctly. Now it's going to take a little while because my internet's slow. And this process in WordPress by itself already takes a long time, even with a fast. Uh, internet connection and we see it ran through those steps really quickly and once this finishes loading we get 12,917 now that's great it did what we wanted one time but ideally we want this to play in a loop and we see that that's actually an option here down at the bottom of the dialog box so we can hit play loop and when we do it's going to go through three iterations of that loop and it's going to keep track on what iteration it's on in this box here. So I'm not going to actually hit play loop because there's a little um, caveat that I want to bring into the conversation here. If I hit play loop it's going to do these steps within the macro very quickly and when what we saw was it takes a really long time for WordPress to process that request so in this case, play loop actually goes through too quickly for it to catch every time it's running the loop. So we'll either stop after the first time or it like won't actually read the macro after the first time or it will only catch like every second or third one once it's actually um, 
went through the whole process on the um, WordPress site, the, the deleting and, and re-updating um, the page. So in order to fix this, we can actually edit our macro by going to manage, click on the macro we want to edit, and then click edit. And it brings up all this funky code that, to be honest with you, I don't even know what it fully means. I just know it's repeating the things that we did. And I know that I also want to add some sort of thing in here that makes it wait for the page to load. So with someone with no coding background, I simply went to Google and click something to the effect of how to make I macros I macro wait for page to load. And when I did this, and I actually wrote evidently wow to make, so let's hope that this still works. You'll see iMacros has wikis written about their um, plugin that are really helpful. So when I click in here, we see there's actually a way to make our code wait. So I don't fully know how to code or I don't even know what language this is, but I found this page and I found that this is an example of what it looks like. So I just copy and pasted that function at the end of my code. Now I had no clue at that point, and it actually took me a couple of wikis to, to go through to find this correct one. But once I hit save and close, and open the macro back up and play. We'll go through two iterations just to make it a little bit easier to follow. We'll see it goes through these steps here. We'll delete the 20. That's odd, it actually added one here for some reason. Back to 918, it was 917, but that's a WordPress glitch, not a macros glitch. And we see it deletes 20 from the comments, and it's waiting 10 seconds. I don't know if you can see it in the screencast, but it's hovering in light blue over the 10, and now just jump back up to rerun the macro. And we should jump down to 878 once it runs again. And it does. So it has effectively ran the macro two times by hitting play loop twice. But I can go and make this some much larger number. So in this case, 100. Hit play loop. And this will run 100 times. And I can go walk away from my computer and the, the process is repeated over and over again. So this is a cool tool that enables you to automate repetitive tasks. Um, I will say that this is the free version, and I guess at some point if you get sophisticated enough or request enough steps in a given automation, um, it requires a paid version, but I have yet to get to that point, and I've done a lot of like cool multi-step things already with the free version, so my guess is this should hold you over for a substantial amount of time. Um, and then if you ever do get um, complicated enough with your automations, it may be worthwhile to get the paid version. But you can do a lot of stuff with the, the free version as well. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps you automate some uh, repetitive tasks in your browsing. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe.